What's up guys, it has been a while since I last did an official unboxing and today we have got Spy X families, you with us. I literally bought this figurine like a few hours ago and this figurine is by Sega. I think it just landed in the retail like last night. So we're pretty early on this one. As far as I can tell, the figurine looks really good from the box, the posture and the face looks pretty cute. So I can't wait to open this up. Let's get straight into it. I'm just gonna say this figurine is a beauty. Like the character, I think the figurine speaks for herself. I think Sega has done quite a wonderful job with the Yaw figurine over here. We all know Sega hasn't been one of the best toy or figurine publishers for a while, but recently they've been pushing out quite a few wonderful figurines like the Jujutsu Kaisen ones and I'm glad they did the same with the Spy X family line. I'm hoping for the rest of the figurines will look as good as the Yaw one. Now there are a couple of things I want to get into. The first is the amount of detail and effort I feel like they've done and put into this figurine. The entire posture and the entire scalp of Yo, I feel like is so nicely done. The way her hair moves, the way her kit is floating, it just feels like Yo in the anime. Graceful and elegant, right? Plus, Sega also gave us two of her twin weapons, which is really easy to insert. No hassle at all. And they look awesome. However, there's something wonky about the dress and the strap that goes all the way up to her neck. It's like her choker or like a lace or something, but instead of using an actual plastic strap like the ones that surrounds her shoulders, they used paint instead and it looks imperfect like you can tell the paint is not really well done but it's not a big thing from afar it still looks pretty good and it's really a small worry or complaint in my opinion and you guys know the annoying thing about stands guess what sega did they gave us male pack stands instead of female ones so what that means is instead of having male packs on Yaw, which will prevent her from standing by herself, they actually had holes put up into her heels so you guys can display her without any stands. I just feel like this is the best of both worlds and like every single toy or figurine company that comes with stands should do something like this so that we as collectors can decide whether we want them to display with or without the stands. It's almost like Sega gets what we want or what I want. Now that's it. Overall, I feel like this is such a wonderful and beautiful figurine that if you are a fan of Spy X family and your specifically, you should totally check this figurine out. I understand that Sega has two more pre-orders of your and Lloyd in the sitting position. I will definitely be getting those figurines without a doubt. And if you enjoyed this content so far, thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to the channel and I will hopefully see you in the next video.